Hello everyone, so today we're going to be doing something very similar to what we did last class. The difference is how the transaction is presented to you. Other than that, it's basically the same. Before you watch this video, I suggest if you have not seen these videos, which are your guide for the sales day book, I suggest you watch this video before you proceed with the one you are watching right now or else it might turn out to be very confusing <clears throat> so you of course you will need to go to your your class under the sales day book section you will find a couple of files along with a link and this is the file where you will need to journalize and post 17.3 and 17.4 I will be explaining May 1st and May 4th with that you can finish off the entire drill I will explain each of these transactions as some of you might be confused as to what they're asking you to do so that is the file where the complete file where you can find the instructions on all the transactions and this file right here is your guide which is the one I am using to do this video so I am taking 17.3 May 1st and May 4th and I have it here so I will teach you how to to do these two how do you find out what is the sale and how do you journalize it and then of course you know how to to post from the previous video i shared with you so the first transaction you will notice that instead of getting a simple sentence like on the video i showed you before it it has several things here that we that this person is buying and there is a discount okay so i want you to take some time first of all to read the instructions here at the top basically they tell you who is the seller in this case it's F Benjamin it tells you the address and it tells you what um, all the things that they sell for example they have white tape at ten dollars per roll they have other things in, in stock and they have they have their own price so you will need this information along with what F Gomez which is the customer in this case what the customer is buying they give you the address as well which is not important because we're not doing an invoice so let me clarify this first they're asking you instruction a for both 17.3 and 17.4 they're asking you to draw up a sales invoice for each of the above sales meaning this is a sale this is another sale this is another sale and so on so instead of doing an invoice well, you can do something similar to what I have here, or you can just get any piece of paper and do your own rough work. It doesn't really matter. I'm not requiring you to, to, do, to draw an invoice. So F. Gomez purchased the following. Three rolls of white tape. So you would see that I have the date here. I have the units, description, price per unit, and total. So F. Gomez is purchasing three rolls of white tape. So I have three rolls of white tape uh, the price unit I get it from here white tape at ten dollars per roll so you multiply three times ten you get thirty the second item that F Gomez is buying is five sheets of blue cotton so five sheets of blue cotton at six dollars per roll according to our um, cost right here at the top so you multiply that five times three you get thirty dollars and then the last item that they are purchasing is one length black silk so that has a price of twenty dollars per dress length so you would see that I have here one dress length black silk at twenty dollars per length and that gives you twenty dollars of course now these are the subtotals if you were to add these you would end up with an invoice of $80 so that's what F Gomez 
purchased from us on credit. Now, if you look carefully at the transaction, they tell you that we are giving F. Gomez a trade discount of 25%. So that means that this person will not pay 25%. I'm uh, sorry, they will not pay $80. They will pay uh, less because they are getting the discount. So you need to find out what is 25% of 80. Um, <clears throat> so basically 25% of 80 is um, $20. You see it from the calculation I have here. So that means that this person is getting $20 discount, so they're only paying at the end $60. That's the reason why you see that I wrote $60 here, which is basically the amount that you need to journalize. You do not need to post all of these on the sales day book. Instead, we only journalize one number at the end, so to speak. So the date, May 1st, by the way, it's 2017, May 1st. Who did we sell to? F. Gomez. Invoice number from the previous video, you know that I always start from zero 01. Folio, I will leave folio for later on the video. We know that the sale at adds up to $60, so the amount there will be 60 So that's May 1st. May 4th, it's very similar. In this case, a gray is purchasing from us six rolls of white tape. So I have six rolls of white tape at $10 per unit, $60. 30 meters green base, so that is 30 times $4 per meter which we have here so you multiply that and you get 120 now this particular person is getting a 33 and one third trade discount so they're getting a very generous discount so you need to find out what is 100 and what is 33.33 and one third or 33.33 um, the, the discount that is the discount so you, you need to, to find out what is that particular discount in um, this particular instance and in this case it is sixty dollars so <clears throat> the person will not end up paying 180 instead this person will end up paying 120 because of the discount which ends up to be sixty dollars if you notice as well, I'm not including brackets here because I'm not dealing with T accounts or any of the financial statements. So I'm saving those in this case. So this person will end up paying, well, owes us 120. So I can go ahead and journalize that amount at this point. That will be May 4th. A invoice number zero two folio I will leave that for shortly so it is 120 so this right here looks very similar to you if you have seen these videos right here I suggest once again look at these videos I am sorry that I had to upload them in, in different parts I was having issues upload, uploading the video the previous night and I ended up solving it in the morning. So I'm sorry about that, but you need to watch all the videos. And then if these videos are not enough, then I suggest you watch the second example, which I have here as well. But if you have seen the videos, then you know what to do from this point on. You know that these particular journal entries need to be transferred to to sales ledger so you know that the folio will be SL here it's also SL and then you need to do May 8th 20th and 31st and at the end of course you will add up everything and you will transfer your total to a GL which will be your sales account but I explained that in the other video so you can go ahead and watch that video if necessary so 
I explained May 1st, May 4th. So now you can go ahead and complete the remaining transactions and you repeat the same steps for 17.4x. Now, if I may finish the instructions here, B says enter the invoice in the sales date book and then post them to personal accounts. Basically, that is transaction B is telling you to do the calculation and then journalize what we did here. In addition, you have to post. So you have to take these transactions, open your T accounts and post. C, transfer the total to the sales account in the general ledger. Basically, you will need to add, at the end when you finish journalizing, you add your, your the, the amounts that you have here, you single line, double line and transfer that to the sales account. I explained that in the other video. And then show all folio numbers and you guys know that all transactions need a folio okay we're not including the number yet but you need a folio which would be normally two letters and that is it best of luck remember that these two drills will are, are part of your last test so it's very important that you do them because they are part of your final test good luck